Good morning everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video and to another sweet recipe for Christmas. I hope you are all doing well. It is another miserable day in in the UK. I would love to know what the weather's like where you're at. Now, I'm not even going to lie. This is one of those recipes that I never make because it seems like it's too hard. I'm like that about lasagna as well. I never make lasagna because I, it's too much faff. I can't be bothered. And I think that's all in my head. In fact, I know it is because it's not that hard. But anyway, so today I'm making pavlova. But pavlova with a Portuguese mm, side, if that makes sense. So this pavlova is going to have some sweet egg cream on top. Don't be put off. It is unbelievable so sweet egg cream is very very traditional in Portugal we use it for loads of different recipes and it is um, superb so what that is going to do is going to use up the egg yolks that we have left from the pavlova I would love to know in the comments because I know this is a traditional Portuguese dish the sweet egg uh, thing what do you do with the egg yolks when you make pavlova me know in the comments. Let's get started. Now the recipe I'm using for the pavlova is the Hairy Bikers recipe. The link will be in the description box below and it uses four egg whites, um, half a teaspoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of corn flour and 225 grams of uh, caster sugar. First thing you want to do is put your oven on at 150 degrees or mark three and then you you're going to draw a circle on baking parchment paper so you, you know where to put your pavlova. For the sweet egg cream you are going to need 150 grams of sugar, 4 egg yolks, 50 grams of water, no sorry 50 ml of water, 
and some lemon peel. It doesn't have to be a lot because we're not making a big quantity. If you happen to have cinnamon stick, I would recommend you use that as well as the lemon. For some reason, I don't. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is add the sugar into a pan, the lemon peel and the water. That's going to make a little syrup and all you have to do is let it melt until it starts boiling. So yeah, you don't have to do anything to it. Okay, you just want to make sure that the sugar is melted, which is not quite there. So I've turned off the stove, but I leave it on there to just make sure that sugar melts. All done. So we're going to leave the syrup to the side to cool for about 10 minutes and we'll come back. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Um, the syrup is cooled down slightly. I'm gonna get rid, can I show you, of the um, peel, the lemon peel. Let me just get it. Now, the first thing you want to do is take the egg yolks, put them through oops, a sieve because they have a skin on them. So you want to make sure that that, that does not go through. And now you are going to tip the syrup into the eggs very gently and you're going to stir constantly to, so it doesn't turn this into scrambled eggs okay so you just adjust to a little bit here we go okay so now you're going to tip it straight back into that pan and we're gonna go put the cooker back on the stove top, sort of medium. Oh. And you're gonna stir constantly. So, you stir it until it's nice and thick, and when you do this, it creates a little road, goes like that, okay, it separates, and you can see it comes straight off, pretty much clean off the bottom of the pan, it's nice and thick. Now you need to move it to a different um, Tupperware or glassware, whatever, so it stops cooking. Okay. 
Okay, so the cling film is to prevent it forming a skin. I'm gonna leave it to cool down completely and then it can go in the fridge. Okay, so it's been an hour. I'm now gonna turn it off and the pavlova is gonna stay in there for at least another hour. So I've just taken it out of the oven. It's been over an hour, an hour and a half, and it's looking pretty good. It's still slightly warm, so I'm just gonna leave it to cool completely. It looks amazing. It's got a slight golden, like creamy color to it. I don't know if you can tell. It's not very visible from the um, from the film, but I left, as you saw, a hole so I can put loads of double cream in there. And then, yeah, I'll show you in a bit. Okay, so now we are gonna beat some double cream. Okay, so now comes the time to assemble. So um, I'm actually gonna put going to leave right I'm actually going to leave it in the parchment paper I kind of like the rustic look of it on just a, a board but also I'm scared that if I take the paper off I'm going to break the pavlova so you know it's on purpose first the cream I'm kind of thinking that I should have done more, more cream. Be right back. Okay, so I've got a bit more of the cream. I basically didn't put as much as the recipe has said because I thought it was too much, but I was obviously, who am I to question the hairy bikers, eh, guys? So I'm just spreading it around. So you can see. Can you see okay? See, let me move you. Oh, that looks amazing. And now let's do the egg. Oh, that's pulling off quite a lot. Oh, it's nice and thick. Okay, so they were a bit too stiff because they've been in the fridge. Um, but I just put it in the microwave for 10 seconds just to, and then just do all of this. I'm gonna sprinkle some roasted chopped hazelnuts on top. And there you have it, you guys. Now, notice the fruit on the side. I am not a big fan of lots and lots of fruit, especially because at this time of year in the UK, you can't really get fruit that is in season well, you can like apples, but I don't like stewed fruit on my pavlova. Um, so if you want, you can put loads of raspberries and blackberries on top. I decided against it because it's gonna take us two or three days to eat through this. We will 
um, but I don't want all the fruit on top sort of seeping through to the juices if that makes sense I have some kiwi fruit here and I have some peaches as well that I can use on a different day but this is the result let me sort of cut into it Now, the most important thing, the taste test. Oh, that's lovely and soft. Mm. Oh, that is so, so good. The outside is nice and crunchy. The inside, I don't know if you can see, is white and fluffy. The cream is not been sweetened with the egg, the sweet egg cream on top. Let me try it with a bit of fruit. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Wow. That is superb. That is a really good recipe. It worked out. It tastes so, so good. As always, link to the, to the recipes in the, in the description box below. And I'll also make a note of the egg, um, sweet egg cream or sweet egg custard, whatever you want to call it, for you to try. Just try it, you guys. It's so, so good. So delicious. Thank you, as always, for watching. I'll see you guys soon for more videos more sweet recipes bye it's the first time i've ever made this recipe it definitely needs the fruit to cut through the sweetness mm.